morning y'all <laughs> so it is Sunday morning it is about 10 30 I think something like that oh, I keep forgetting all the clock in my room <laughs> so this is a redemption of the Phoenix update <sighs> damn dirt on my phone um and I'm waking up still so I woke up earlier than I wanted to but I'm awake, so. <laughs> uh, last night I worked on it for four hours and twenty minutes. <laughs> four twenty, man. Take your head here, there. Take it. It's too good. Take it. <laughs> Kidding. No, weed is good though, but I don't smoke it no more. Anyway, so four hours and twenty minutes. More revelations from Trent, and. It was really, it's been really easy writing the revelations. Because it's a lot of stuff that I have to, it's a lot of establishing shit for Baybox as well. So it's establishing, um, you know, lots of backstory, there's a lot of backstory to establish. And that's why 3.8 is going to take so long, because... Um, there's a lot of backstory to put into it, and, you know, I really gotta think it out before I just, you know, bum rush into it, because as a writer and author, this shit is a bitch, because you rush into it like that, and you're like, ah! and you fucked it up, because you forgot a key fact, or, um, you forgot a key point in the story that was really important. I actually had to, um, I actually had to straight, I actually ran into that this last night when I was writing. I wrote from, uh, 1959 to 2319 last night. I was going to go to midnight or so, but my stepdad was getting ready to go to bed, so I had to come inside. Because I, I like writing outside overnight, that's fun. It's nicer out now, and I can do that. It's not humid and shit. But since he sleeps downstairs, can't be on the porch. So, oh well. <laughs> um, what was the thing I had to fix? Ah, Lucius's lightsaber. Fun times. In Devastation, I said that he got the crystal from an expedition. Well... What I didn't realize was that I already mentioned that Trent's lightsaber was black and blue swirl. So I fixed that little plot hole with a, um, just a quick, like, one sentence setup where, you know, Trent had imbued the crystal with a, uh, enchantment because he'd found that crystal first. And he enjoyed that memory of it so much that he actually enchanted it to where he, whoever, basically, um, shoot, Macari, um, whoever touched it would have that memory of them finding the crystal, but it was originally his memory. So, that was pretty cool. And I didn't want to make it so, you know, I didn't want to make it so obvious and so powerful and stuff like I want it to be genuine and stuff so there's a lot of originality in it and there's a lot of work to be done yet <laughs> thankfully not a whole lot more because I'm almost let's say I'm, a, I'm almost to the end of 3.8 almost I still have a lot to go through yet um I just got done what was it? I got done with uh, the lightsaber origin. Um, I didn't really do the sword's origin very much because that's something for Baybox exclusively. So I'll work on that in the future. Um, what else did I work on? Why Trent and Raven uh, killed Jedi and Sith. Which is a huge fucking thing. Kids included, too. So, when you read Baybox, there's going to be kids slaughter as well. So, if that offends you, 
Oh well, bitch. Grow a fucking pear. <laughs> Go call PETA. <laughs> Go call PETA, write the anti-vaxxer league. Get all your friends from their Christian Minecraft servers and tell them to line up and toss my salad. I don't care. Ugh. Um, let me see. Yeah, that that part was really deep. And I also went into how uh, Trent survived and whatnot. I still, I gotta, I like the way it's set up. But I need to go back and change one little tiny detail, and then it'll be perfect, because I like it. Um, what else did I do? I think that was about it. And it was a good, it was a good couple of pages, because I'm up to 259 pages with, uh, what was a damn number? 84,993 words. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh my god, I'm almost to, I'm almost to fucking 90, well no, actually, now I'm closer to 85,000 words. Fucking crazy. Damn. <sighs> Story is getting long. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> oh my god, I'm only one-fifth through the story. Shit. And that's me, and that's when, um... That's with that's with glazing over and cutting out stuff. Like the serum part, that like I said before, that's cut out. I won't be putting that in the story because that just it would be too slow. It would slow it down significantly. So once I'm done at Magna Web Prison with Trent and stuff, then I can jump into three nine. So it's like I'm trying to rush to I'm trying to get three eight done. But the more I do 3-8, the more fun I'm having with it. Because it's so many, there's so much to reveal and there's so much to understand. And the last bit I have to do yet with that is uh, Tyra's story. Yeah. I mean, I've got her down. I did her story already. But there's still more. There's, you know... um. Like I did, I did her backstory with her and Raven. What Raven did to her. Um, I still gotta go through the pregnancy with her and whatnot. And it just—it's so much to absorb. I mean, there's a lot to fucking absorb in this in this whole segment in this whole. Uh, installment, this particular installment, because it's a lot to absorb. I mean, there's the fact that, you know, Trent has been waking up every 10 years since the Old Republic. Basically since, uh... So he's been in prison for, from 3674 ABY. No. BBY. And he just woke up. He's been woken up every 10 years. And that was Raven's master plan. You know, let him rot. But have him... Oof! Wake up... Um, every... You know, every decade. Knowing that he failed in trying to stop him. And that... Um, You know, Trent's greatest sacrifice was, you know, that he, the last big thing he did was cast a spell on himself. Because he is, um, you know, he's not just for, he's not just a, I'm not trying to, he's not just a force wielder, he's also, you know, a master tracker, he is a, um, he knows a lot of shit. He's, uh, ant, what is it? Anti Davilian? Yeah, that's the word. Like, Anti Davilian. Meaning, basically, it means someone who's ancient, archaic, that kind of shit. You know, every, every story has an old man that knows a whole shit ton of shit. Yeah, that's who he is. His sacrifice, Trent's sacrifice in, 
3674 BBY before he was put in the carbonite was um he cast the spell fuck off <laughs> stupid twitter he yeah he cast the spell that allowed him to retain his memory so he wouldn't lose his he wouldn't go insane the cost of that spell losing all his force powers so he's basically regular joe tons of knowledge but can't really do anything because he doesn't have any force powers so it sucks i mean he's got all his he has the uh He's got his fighting ability, he has his mindset, um, he stayed slightly in shape over the years, uh, that's one, and, but he can't wield any force powers, so, <laughs> it's a trip, because I had to think, like, how do I take, fuck off Twitter, I'm like, how do I take, you know, a character who's been out of play for over 3,000 years and make them useful in the future you know that's a hard thing to do that's one of the many that's one that's a huge challenge with any character especially if you have a lot of characters to work with like you have to work with you know how they work in the present time and how they work in the past especially if we're bringing it especially if we're doing a time travel thing fuck <laughs> Time travel stories are not easy. Oh, no, they're not. They're even more difficult, because you have to be careful what the fuck you do. Because you can be like, oh, do 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 and you fucked up the story. <laughs> so, I'm being careful in how I write this. That's why it's taken so long. But my goal is to finish the bitch by December. So, I still got time yet. <laughs> I'll have it done. Eventually. <laughs> um... So yeah, I left off with um, Trent's uh, revelation in how him and Raven went from, you know, just killing and culling out, fuck off, killing and cut, well basically culling Jedi and Sith and the young, and kids, force sensitive kids, just for, for fun to, you know, the first building block for Baybox. So, that was fun and exciting. <sighs> oh my god. Ooh. I am really tired. Ow. <laughs> but I'm awake. So, yeah. So, I'll probably work on it tonight sometime, I guess. I don't know yet, because actually I'm going to be leaving here in a little bit to see my grandmother. See how she's doing and whatnot, because I didn't call her yesterday, because it got late and I forgot, and then I started writing. I'm still tired. <laughs> Ugh. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. So, what I'll probably do when I jump back into it later today or tomorrow, um, keep working on Revelations. <laughs> it's all I can do. Yeah, there's just, it's just so much to work on, man. So much. I mean, if you could see inside my head on how much I got done and the shit I got on my laptop, my phone, whew, it's crazy. And then random plot lines that pop up for the Dark Side ending, Bayvox, basically, yep. Yeah. Dark Side ending, Dark Side, Bayvox, and Endgame. All three of them keep popping up half the time. Oh, it's so much to keep track of. <laughs> and then I write it down so I don't forget it, which is smart. Because younger me decided, oh, I'll remember that in the future. Thanks, asshole. I don't remember. Oh, God. Because in my infinite wisdom, I forget things. So, yeah. Writing shit down, time stamping it helps a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So I'm gonna get off here, upload this, and wake up some more. So yeah. Like and yeah. Yeah, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers. Man, I'm not fucking awake.